Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanek and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Tuesday, October 6, 2009. Here are today's top stories. Bravo introduces American viewers to world-famous award-winning chef Jean-Christophe Novelli in the new docuseries Chef Academy. In Chef Academy, Bravo follows Novelli as he moves to L.A. and opens a test program within a top culinary institute where he will train nine aspiring chefs. The new series opens November 16th at 11 p.m. and is produced by Mentor in USA for Bravo. MTV made the announcement it will air the docuseries Gone Too Far, beginning October 12th at 10 p.m., hosted and created by Adam DJAM Goldstein. Following his recent sudden death, the network received the consent of Goldstein's family to continue with the show, which chronicles young addicts and gives them a chance to enter therapy. With eight episodes, the one hour Gone Too Far is produced by Ish Entertainment and Gigantic Productions. IFC announced it will air all episodes from the original Monty Python's Flying Circus sketch comedy series starting this month as part of the network's Pythonathon, say that 10 times, Pythonathon week through the end of 2010. IFC's Pythonathon begins October 18th through the 23rd, consisting of the original six part docuseries Monty Python. Almost the Truth, The Lawyer's Cut each night at 9 p.m., followed by a Python feature film at 10 p.m., and capped off by an episode of Monty Python's Flying Circus at 11.30 p.m. Well, on the heels of its third season launch, Showtime is renewing the comedy Californication for a fourth season. Twelve new episodes will debut in 2010. DIY Network renewed the docuseries King of Dirt for a second season with new episodes scheduled to premiere during the spring of 2010. The half-hour series produced by Original Media follows landscaper Gino Panero as he creates high-end landscapes and hardscapes and at the same time deals with his family. BBC Worldwide Channels has acquired two new programs for its global networks. Piers Morgan on The Britain's Got Talent host will visit luxurious locales such as Monaco, Dubai, and LA. This six-part series is produced by Splash Media and will air on BBC, Knowledge in Africa, Poland, and Scandinavia. Reggie Perrin, starring Martin Clunes, this six-episode comedy is about a sales executive who struggles to deal with daily life and rules in the modern world. Produced by Objective Productions, Reggie Perrin will air on BBC Entertainment across Africa. Sony Pictures TV and Mark Burnett are reviving Fantasy Island and developing the concept into a new 60-minute competition elimination reality show. The contestants work to fulfill the fantasies of guests arriving at the hotel, and based on feedback from the guests after their goals are fulfilled, one will be safe from elimination while the contestants vote on who should go home. Fox gave a script commitment with penalty to a single-camera comedy project called The Intruders from actor-writer Danny Comden, reports THR. Comden will write and executive produce with Wonderland's McGee and Peter Johnson. And the U.S. network Ovation TV made a co-production deal with Demon Angel of Australia to produce season two of the series Designer People. The new episodes will begin November 9th during Ovation TV's Everything is Art programming event. And that's a wrap for today. Please check your email for today's emailed edition of Synopsis with more executive moves and more on ratings, a few other bits and pieces that are not included in this podcast, and check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production along with 311 West for Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis. In Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm going to have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm going to have a good day. Hope you have a good day, too.